The country of Kuwait is currently on a mission to build its first smart megacity in the Middle Eastern desert. The city will be known as Madan at al Harar or Silk City, and is spearheading the vision of Kuwait 2035, a vision that aims to transform Kuwait into a financial and trade hub internationally. After a pandemic-induced pause of over two years, the world is now looking forward to this new megacity being built in the desert, which is considered the largest marine front project ever constructed in the Arabian Gulf region. It is expected that when this mega project is complete, it will finally put Kuwait on the world map of tourism and investment. In this video, we will look into the progress and development of Kuwait's new and exciting future city. But before we get started, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you can get more videos about incredible multi-billion dollar mega projects from all over the world. Kuwait, which is a tiny nation bordering Saudi Arabia and Iraq, is one of the richest nations in the world per capita. It is politically stable, has contemporary infrastructure and an economy centered on petroleum and petrochemicals. Kuwait also has crude oil reserves of 104 billion barrels, which are considered to constitute 10% of the world's reserves. Undoubtedly, this is an impressive feat for this small country with a tiny population of roughly 4.5 million people. Kuwait is now working to greatly increase its economic infrastructure by investing in the development of its new civil infrastructure. It has launched several projects aimed at improving living standards for its people, boosting its economy, and improving its image as one of the most beautiful countries located along the coast of the Arabian Gulf. As Kuwait's status as both an economic center and a tourist attraction famous for its modern architectural wonders has been growing in recent years, they are now hoping to capitalize on this newfound interest. The new, future smart city, being developed across a total of 250 square kilometers in Subia, is now one of the world's biggest mixed-use project development plans. Silk City will be linked to Kuwait City through the Jabber Causeway, which is currently under construction. The city is also expected to be built in various sections and finished over 25 years at a cost of $132 billion. This cost has branded this project as one of the most radical and expensive construction projects in the world. It is expected to house 700,000 people and provide approximately 450,000 new job opportunities. This project will be built in stages and is expected to complete within 25 years. Silk City will be divided into four unique sections, each with their own city center. The sections are Financial City, Leisure City, Ecological City, and Cultural City, all of which are planned to be world-class centers. The Financial City will be built close to the new airport. This component will include the business center, meeting rooms, and facilities, and it is intended to be a major hub for international and regional commerce. The Leisure City will be near the canal that links the Arabian Gulf to the Dia and al Farad rivers. This project segment includes hotels and resorts, a global leading sports institution, as well as a hospital and maritime facility. The Culture City will consist of three districts, intellectual, diplomatic, and political. Finally, the Ecological City will be placed in the heart of Silk City and will cover 45 square kilometers. National parks and reservations for wild animals and rare flora, as well as nature reserves for migratory birds from Central Asia and Africa, are included in the ecological section. In addition, the ecological city would have a center for environmental research and huge green areas, while the whole Silk City will be ringed by a green belt of gardens to provide tourists with an unpolluted environment. The most notable feature of Silk City is arguably Burj Mubarak, a one-kilometer high skyscraper being erected in the city's core. The mega-tall skyscraper, with a height of 1,001 meters and the ability to house 7,000 residents, is expected to take roughly 15 years to complete. The Burj Mubarak will consist of seven vertical villages that include hotels, residences, offices, and entertainment areas. The construction of this impressive megastructure is expected to begin once the Jabber Causeway is completed. It is safe to say that when complete, the building will be a spectacle to see and will far exceed the height of the world's current tallest building, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, whose total height is only 828 meters. The first phase of the Silk City project includes the building of the Sheikh Jabbar Al-Ahmed Al-Sabah Causeway, 
which was finished and opened in May 2019 with a construction cost of $3 billion. When the 48-kilometer causeway was completed, it was the largest construction project in Kuwait's history. It is primarily made of concrete piles and steel, and it is layered with waterproofing and asphalt. The bridge cuts travel time from Kuwait City to the northern side of Kuwait Bay and the anticipated future location of the Silk City's port by about an hour. The Silk City project's first phase also includes the Mubarak Al Kabir port. The port is also an important component of Kuwait Vision 2035, which is expected to offer many new employment opportunities to the nation and is now under development on Bubian Island. The Mubarak Al Kabir port is the most expensive port development in the region, costing $9 billion. The port will serve the economic needs of many countries, including Kuwait, Iran, Iraq, and China. As part of the Mubarak Al Kabir port project, Bubian Island will be incorporated with power plants and substations. A 5,000 megawatt power plant facility is already under construction in Subiya, and there are a number of new power plants under development. China stands to benefit greatly from Silk City, since it will contribute to the Belt and Road Initiative, which will link Asia and Europe with Africa. Furthermore, China has agreed to take a share of the project's revenues for the first 100 years, and in 2014, it made a cooperation agreement with Kuwait for the city's development. In 2018, the two sides created yet another new agreement with the aim to enhance the alignment of development strategies and expand cooperation in the areas of energy, infrastructural construction, finance, trade, and investment. And in 2019, it was decided that a Chinese construction business would handle the first phase of the project via a public-private partnership. As of right now, Kuwait's primary objective is to accelerate the completion of the new development project. The country experienced an upsurge in demand for oil products since oil prices peaked, resulting in a recovery in crude oil prices, which have more than quadrupled since the beginning of 2022. Rising oil prices provided the much-needed fuel to the country's desire to restart infrastructure projects and continue building the new mega-projects that were put on hold during the pandemic. However, much more needs to be done if Kuwait wants to realize its full market potential. The country still needs to find a way to increase private sector participation in the market and attract new industries. The good news is that Kuwait's economy has gradually begun to diversify, and some new startups and a robust financial sector are assisting Kuwait in reaching this objective. These recent developments provide a promising and exciting future for the tiny nation with huge ambitions. So, what are your thoughts on Kuwait's future new megacity? Let us know what you think about this mega project in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. See you in the next video.